At Library for All, our tagline is Learn, Dream, Aspire. We exist to make knowledge accessible to all equally. We believe that access to knowledge is a basic human right and that technology can be a powerful equalizing force in bringing knowledge to everyone, everywhere. Today, 1.3 billion people live in extreme poverty in our world. These individuals survive on less than 125 per day. The research is clear. Literacy is a key to breaking the cycle of poverty. Achieving literacy leads to increased employment opportunities, smaller, healthier families, and greater social and economic mobility. Literacy leads to a 33% increase in lifetime earnings. We know that if all students had a basic reading skills, 171 million people could be lifted out of poverty. Yet today, 250 million children are still not learning the basics of reading and writing, even after spending four years at school. New findings show that providing books in local languages for children, especially at the early grades, is a proven way to increase literacy. Without books in mother tongue language, it is almost impossible for children to learn how to read. Two World Bank studies spanning African education projects identify reading books as cost-effective and important components to boosting literacy. Our journey to Library for All began in 2011, when Library for All co-founders Taniela and Rebecca were living and working in Haiti. Taniela was the CEO of a nonprofit building the first tuition-free high school in Haiti. Rebecca was supporting the reconstruction following the devastating 2010 earthquake. They realized they could spend their lives building schools and it would not be in the drop in the bucket for the 250 million children who are not literate. Together, they embarked on a journey to build a digital library platform that could scale to unlock knowledge to every child in the developing world. In 2013, they met me, Director of Business Development, Isabel Scheinman, while I was studying at Georgetown. We launched a Kickstarter campaign, raising $110,000 to seed fund the organization. Thus was born Library for All, our digital library platform with locally relevant content curated for communities across the developing world. Over the past four years, we've built a global team headquartered in New York with offices in Australia and Haiti. We've worked to build a unique digital library, a library that gives readers anywhere in the world access to books on any kind of device. Our value add is in sourcing content, hosting and curating catalogs, publishing an app, distributing and marketing our library app, and providing data to all stakeholders on the library and its impact. We partner with New York Public Library on our tech development and Sony on our digital rights management system. Our library is filled with relevant content curated for local communities. Currently, the library includes 3,806 books in seven languages, sourced from 73 publishers and approved by 33 in-country advisors. The content ranges from early grade reading materials in local languages, including Kenya Rwanda, Haitian Creole, Khmer, Mongolian, and Lingala inspirational children's reading books in English, French, and Spanish, K-12 educational content to support classroom learning. Our content comes from local and international publishers through licensing fees, donations, and writer workshops through which we create original content. A partnership with Ingram enables us to easily and securely transfer files, or we can work with other internal or third-party asset management systems. At Library for All, we don't give away devices. We don't do that because almost everyone in the countries where we work has access to a device, even people living in extreme poverty. There are six billion mobile phone subscribers in developing countries, and more communities are getting access to low-cost smartphones that can help them leapfrog traditional development paths. For that reason, we optimize our technology for any device, including low-cost phones, tablets, and PCs. Children can access Library for All in two ways. They can access it through schools, uh, on tablet devices, 
We recommend devices and provide technical support to schools, who often purchase a class set of about 30 tablets for children to share. Second, children can access Library for All on devices they have at home. Parents and teachers can download the Library for All app on low-cost smartphones or tablets and read to children. This is our distribution model in Rwanda, for example, where there are 2.8 million smartphone users who will be able to download Library for All for free starting in this summer. We have piloted our digital library in five countries, Haiti, Rwanda, Democratic Republic of Congo, Cambodia, and Mongolia. We are currently reaching 10,000 students in 50 schools, and over 30,000 books have been read to date. Early data from our programs indicates that children love to read on the library, especially local language books. So what does the library look like in practice? Samuel, the director of a school using Library for All in Haiti, says, Jerry was rescued from child slavery in Haiti by a program called Restavec Freedom. When he first started school, his self-esteem was so low that he did not even want to read out loud. After several months in the learning acceleration program using Library for All, Jerry's progress is obvious. It has positively impacted his reading level, helped him catch up at school, and grow in self-esteem and self-confidence. Our vision is that through partnership and collaboration, we can scale to every country in the developing world. In the next 6 to 12 months, we will scale up in Haiti and Rwanda, increasing readership from 10,000 to 25,000 children using the library. In the next 12 to 36 months, we will apply this scale model in Cambodia, Mongolia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, where pilot programs are already in place. We will increase from 25,000 to 250,000 children using the library. In three years' time, we will release a global literacy collection in English and French to 20 countries in East and Central Africa and Southeast Asia, regions that have some of the lowest literacy levels in the world and 30 million children or more globally will benefit from, library, from the library on devices they already have. So what will it take? To reach our target of scale in Haiti and Rwanda, just in the next six months, we are seeking a philanthropic investment of $250,000. This will enable the Library for All to serve 25,000 readers. We do not want to depend on philanthropic support in the long term, though, and are working towards a sustainable model based on generating revenue from the following sources. First, we're looking at identifying country sponsors, individuals or companies who can pay to power library for all across a new country. Second, we're exploring charging users or schools for the library. Individuals or schools might pay a small fee for access to a premium collection. We have tested a $3 per user per year fee in Haiti. For schools, we've capped this at just $600 per site. Third, we are working with NGOs, government, and corporates to test out a payment model in which they pay a fee for Library for All to upload specific content based on their needs. Finally, we're exploring revenue share models with device manufacturers. In these models, companies can sell mobile phones or tablets with a pre-installed version of Library for All and give us a small percentage of the, of the sale. We're constantly striving to increase the impact of every dollar we receive. Currently costs us $10 to deliver the library to one reader for one year. As we scale our reach, this cost will fall dramatically. Within just three years, this cost will fall to 10 cents per child. Mobile penetration increases at 20% every year, and we are connecting this market trend to social impact to ensure that children are not left behind in poverty. We know we cannot do this alone. We rely on support from partners around the world, and we invite you to join us on our journey to make knowledge accessible to all. Thank you very much.